Alright guys, welcome back to Everhood. Um, it's been so long. It has been months since I touched this game. Um, and if the title of the video is anything to go by, I'm going to be doing the last two endings. I wasn't really planning to do this video like at all because the dev gnomes kind of burned me out. But the commenter asked if I was going to do the other secret endings and I'm like... Why not, right? Um, where we are first. Let, let's start where we are, and I'll say, and I'll mention everything else. So we're after getting Red's our arm. Um, if it matters to anyone, this is my inventory. Um, I basically just did a perfect run. Like I'm, I'm on Dev Gnome's level of run because I have the the ruby, the batteries, the trophy, and the cake. And the clay pot. So I just did that for, you know, I already knew that I already knew what to do. So I might as well. So, yeah, we, we just got our arm. And I'm on New Game Plus. Those are the two things that you need to um, get everything you're about to see in this video. So what we're going to do first is the um, the frog ending, basically the pacifist ending, just because it's faster to do it. But I also I'll also be mentioning some particular points of interest for the other ending we're doing today which is um which is the cat god ending and the cat god ending is also pretty straightforward you, you just need to follow some instructions but yeah you know it, it's always good to put it into video form so for every for anyone who's curious like you can see it like in your face anyway it's been so long so forgive me if the voices i give these guys aren't what I gave them before. Uh, Everhood was my first ever series, so there's gonna be a lot of revision, basically, <laughs> because of the things I've learned along the way. Finally, you have your arm back. Is this even the voice I gave them before? I, I don't even remember. It has been such a long time. The mages have fled, for they know what it is coming. But they don't understand why they must be killed. You must help them by ending them. If you need help finding the remaining souls, we will be in our court. I just assumed that they were speaking together and it was a cacophony of voices. That's why I kept changing. Want to head back to the Cosmic Hub? You know, you know, these stars are like... Chipper. Well, they are made of wood, but you get what I mean. Anyway, uh, after exiting that door, you go straight down. This one leads to the cat god ending, but I might as well get it out of the way, like, now. So, uh, I'm going to show it again later, but, you know. Psst. Hey, I know who you are. I know you've played a scenario all before. You strike me as the kind of guy that lives for challenges and maybe... Searching for something new and exciting? Let me introduce myself. I'm a hobo cat. <laughs> My name is Sam. I have a proposal. I can use someone with your talents. Yeah. <laughs> you see, yeah. Okay, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I've come across some information about a somewhat hidden treasure, yeah. <laughs> Okay, no, stop, don't. Yeah, exciting, right? I found the location. But there is a problem. It's being guarded by a really big guy. Wow, can can, can you be more... Uh, d descriptive about big guy? I usually deal with this kind of myself, but... I fear the odds are against me. My suggestion is that we split the treasure half and half. If you help me. Do you want to go on a treasure hunt? I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go with yes for now so that you guys can see what, what happens next. How interesting. I'll sum the door. All right. Dolls first. Cat God ending is through this. You just do whatever is behind this door and keep following Sam around. But we're doing the pacifist ending, as I said. So the pacifist ending is actually really easy to go. You go into this, into the mushroom door. 
And you go straight to, um... What's his name? The Forest Spirit. So, I'll just jump cut to there because, you know, there's nothing in the middle... In the middle here, you know? So how to get the pacifist ending is you talk to the Forest Spirit and refuse to kill him. And... You know, I'll, I'll just play it out. I am the guardian of this mushroom forest. Oops, that's an ugly voice. Huh, I'll try this one. Oh yes, here it is. The Reaper of Souls. I have been looking forward to speaking with you. Have you come for my guidance or for my soul? Press interact. To put it simply, life is suffering. The living fear death until it's too late. That is how the mind works. But when life does not have a lifespan, oh I mean time span, becoming immortal is more of a curse than a blessing. It is torture for the soul. There is nothing to do with all this time. After thousands of years, you become docile. You become mute. There are so few things you can do in a physical form. Oh. I guess after a few thousand years, that's kind of true. It is almost like a cruel joke. You must take great strides to realize what must be done. Okay, you're slowly turning into a Jamaican. <laughs> Actually, what, what, the person I have in mind right now is Rafiki from Lion King. <laughs> anyway, do you understand what I want? Do you understand that I want to die? Okay, so even though he's clearly saying what he means, you just press no. I want you to kill me. I want you to do something unforgivable. I want you to kill everyone. You know, technically, it's up to you to forgive me. It's not unforgivable if the person that, that is slighted forgives you, you know? I mean, you're gonna die, but... Uh, <laughs> you must end this world. Only you can do this. Will you kill everyone? No. You must find the cut. Notice how they really want you to go to the normal end. To be both judge and executioner is a heavy burden. I cannot wait another eternity for someone else. Now, shall we battle? No. I see. I cannot know your reasoning. But if you made it this far, I suppose you know what you are doing. You know what I desire. You are the only one that can give it to me. All right. So after that exchange, you you run back to the Cosmic Hub. There's actually a variation of this where you kill the orange professor first. Uh, I'll show you why that's the case. All right, so you run over here. No, what are you doing? Go and kill the forest spirit. You have to liberate them. You must liberate them. Must I? Must I really? All right. Uh, I think there's going to be another one over here. Yep. Why are you not helping? There is no other way. Why are you ignoring us? Anyway, yes. So after you do that, this door unlocks. This leads you to the boss fight. I'm gonna be showing like a couple of. Okay, that was Jack. I'm gonna be showing like a couple of failures. I'm not gonna get this first try. Also, I'm gonna try to commentate a bit. I mean, like my original um, playthrough. I. I need to concentrate, basically. I can't talk while doing all this stuff. So, yeah. You spoke with all the guardians. You have seen this world for what it truly is. Yet, you decided not do anything about it. You think you're such a saint? You're trying to be the good guy. 
I get it. You don't want to be the killer. But this is a necessary evil. They are afraid of dying. Only you can help me. Do you understand that they are suffering? No, no, I do not. You are you so young and naive. Also, look at the leaves. They're like blood red. They're like matching his mood right now. You haven't truly lived as an immortal if you can't understand that. You have to trust me. You must kill. And it's the only way to end it all. We are holding on to a ruined dead world. Also, didn't I kill you in the tutorial? Apparently not. We are going to thank you for what you've done. We are just afraid of the truth. Please, you're the only one that can save them. Please. And they are suffering. No. <laughs> you know, it's kind of mean to go for the pacifist ending. But I think a player can actually do this based on their own conscience. Like, if your conscience really doesn't allow you to kill anyone, um, this ending would naturally come out even without any research. Ha! <laughs> I see. You don't care. You just want to see how far you can push me. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you how far you can push me, human. I'll show you suffering. All right. Let's go, guys. Wish me luck. Ah! <laughs> Here, get, 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 get hit. Get hit again. <laughs> oh no! Cheating. I think um, there is a way to actually not get hit by those triple lines, but it, it kind of needs more precise timing than whatever the hell I'm doing. Woo! Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, finally a rock aesthetic. I've been waiting for a song with a rock aesthetic. Second of all, um, if you haven't noticed, I'm playing this on hard. And it's... Well, the only difference is, like, you have less HP. Like, you can take less hits. So, uh, beat map wise it's the same. It's just, you can make less mistakes. But... I'll be kind on myself and swap to... Normal or... Well, no. I, I, normal is as low as I'll go. I'll swap to normal if I can't uh, do this on hard. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. You're tough. Oops, that was Gold Pig's voice. Oh no, I gotta focus. Gotta focus. Okay, that this is a tip I can give you if you're like dying 
Sometimes you can stay in the side. Cause you know you only need to track your movements for for that track. Of course it doesn't work for sections like this because there's like long lines, so you can't exactly just wait the line out, right? Anyway, back to focusing. Oh god. <laughs> We're at the bridge, and he has Half-Life. I know I asked a lot, but you signed the contract! Worthless human! Now, the suffering must continue. Cheating! That's cheating! No, that's just me being bad! Oh boy! Okay. I'll fight you for all eternity! It will probably take all eternity. Oh boy! Come on, heal! Okay, I'm healed. No! Staircase to hell! Oh, God! Can you hear? The up button! The up button of power! Whew. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Alright. Uh, you know, my pride isn't, you know... Super huge. I'm fine with retrying from last checkpoint. What's the point? I don't know. You will never understand. Oh! It's a timed fight. I didn't know that. It's either you kill him in that span of time, or you survive him. I thought it was an infinite loop. I cannot convince the human to kill. It does not understand. It is pointless. Please, I don't want to punish their incompetence. I know what I'm asking for. It can be incomprehensible, horrible, or distasteful. If I could do it, I would. But it's just... Oh, the human just does not understand. That actually freaked me out. I almost screamed. I can't wait for another human. I wanted to help, but I can't do it anymore. Forgive me, my friends. Please, let me leave this infernal world. Don't worry, frog. You have fought well. You shall have your peace. 
But as you know, you can never return here again. I understand. Let me come home. Why does he get to have peace? Why, why can't this guy just do that for everyone else? Hello, human. You are free to leave whenever you want. The others will continue to live their lives through eternity in their egos as it has been. Only death can release them. It is how it was intended. If you have come here to receive an ending, I can't give it to you. As you are the ending. You are free to leave, but you can return anytime you like. To finish Frog's request. Oh, to finish Frog's request. I hope you enjoyed your time here. It has been great watching you. Until next time. Oh, it, it, this, this looks like the scene from the start. It, minus the trees on the sides. Is the door gonna close? Yes, it is. It will. <laughs> You'd think a pacifist ending would have happier vibes, but I guess that just highlights how how dire things are. Cause I don't think this world is well yeah, for us, right? For our from our perspective. It's just a quirky 2D uh, indie game. It's pixelated, it's whatever. But sometimes I think, what if... What if their world was actually just as 3D as ours? What if there were actually trees and fields and cities? But... Like, the world has degraded so much that even the third dimension has left them, and now they're just 2D. You know, sometimes I, I, I think about this game and, you know, that's my meta theory on it. Like, this used to be a full world, a full 3D world, a la Shadow of the Tomb Raider or whatever, a la Earth. But it's degraded so much that it's just 2D and, you know, everyone's just throwing each other into incinerators for fun nothing matters anymore continue okay so it overwrites you that, that's actually why i left the secondary safe back in the treasury just in case something like this happens anyway gate of eternity is a save that gets put on your save file if you get the pacifist ending so let's see what happens if you load it okay so it just starts you off here which is kind of nice. Because that means I don't have to do anything again. I mean, do it and do everything over again, I mean. Oh, welcome back, Red. Good luck. It's like... Whatever deity there is in this world is like, you know... Just do whatever you want. I'll just resurrect you here. <laughs> Oh, and the door is gone. So I guess this is just a normal playthrough from here on out. Anyway, let me go save on the Gate of the Eternity save. Hi, fancy seeing you here. You can save your progress here. Do you want to save? I'm sorry. A bit too. I don't know. I always give the lamps that voice. Anyway, let's see what the cat area is like. No, Sam, get back here. It might be good to mention- Oh, I already forgot what voice I gave you. That there's no shame in turning down the difficult- <laughs> You tell this to me now after I, d I did the frog boss? In this part of the realm, well, things might get more intense. Shoot, man. I want to see. I want to see how hard things get. What do you want to do? Oh, you can kill him. Alright, this is the place I was talking about. I know the beast is lurking there. Go and defeat it. So we can get treasure. This is a bit... Who treads on these grounds? Isn't that ironic? This is the same voice that says, Good luck, Red, and then suddenly, Who treads on these grounds? 
How did the human find itself here? Nevertheless, your eyes have seen too much. My eyes have seen too much. What does that mean? Well, you have one too many eyes. I think I'm not the one in the wrong here. You have three eyes. Oh, is there a cat? Don't you know the guy who led us here? He's a cat too. He's kind of a bro. I guess. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Brain fart. Anyway, that, that wasn't a good showcase of what we're de dealing with. So yeah, I'll try to... Well, he's not really saying anything and we don't really know who he is. So it's hard to make commentary on a completely new character. But hey, I'll try. So is this... Is this the god of this universe, I guess? Uh... It seems very... Well... The beat map seems very de disorganized right now. Then again, that's what you get when you have... Static as your backing track, you know? Damn it. I hate how their attacks are also caught as their defense, but... You know. Oh wait, I, I I failed to grab the skull. Anyway, I don't think there's much to say here, so I'll just play it normally. Oh, come on. I was one hit away <laughs> from beating him. 
Now I kind of want to do it again. Oh man, or whatever. I beat it. Whatever. That counts. You have proven yourself worthy. I will allow you to pass. May your quest give you peace. Come on. I'm actually annoyed. Door is locked. What do you mean the door is locked? Do you have anything to say about this? You actually managed to beat the beast. Great job. I'll go open the door. Okay. <laughs> so if you killed him, you can't go through the door. I, I even locked the door. Come on, hurry. All right. Let What's behind here? There's another door back there. This must be the treasure. After all these years, I can finally find out. It's just a dusty old TV. Wait, it's connected to something. It's just a Smega station. Smega. Huh? It's Super Rocket 2! I didn't know that existed! I challenge you, Red! Let's see which one of us is the best rocket fighter! Uh... Hang on. Can I check the doors? You know what? The door on the right is locked. The door on the left is obviously the right way. Why not? Let's... Let's humor him. Smega! What's Super Racket 2? Is it just like one? I oh, know it's the same. Prepare to get wrecked, bro. Alright, you know what the secret to this game is? You don't need to wait for it to get near you. As long as it's on the lane, as long as you're on the lane, you can bounce it back. See? It's not actually that hard. <laughs> no, this guy is pretty good. Oh, he's not giving up, huh? You think you can beat me at Super Racket? Oh, now he's throwing curveballs. Interesting. Huh. This in they actually put the soundtrack for this fight, but okay, whatever. There we go, easy peasy. We say to that, that was okay, not a huge improvement, but okay. I beat you. I'm bored. Let's go do something else. Okay, you you, you go there. What's that cabin? Huh? It's locked. Not a problem for a cat. For a cat burglar. Did Haha, <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't want anything to do with this. See you around, Dolly. All right, let's check this one first. Uh, what you see is beyond words. So, this is the door to, like, infinity. <laughs> and this is the door that the cat didn't want anything to- What? Huh? Oh my god. Incinerator? I've never been able to beat this. Oh my god. Oh no. I have no HP. What? Oh. This must be the doable version then, I guess. Yeah, it's probably the doable version. <laughs> um, I was never bad at this because Red has... Red has a weird speed on the overland. So like, judging his hitbox as well as how fast he's gonna go is like... Whoa, what am I supposed to do about that? Oh, okay. Yeah, what am I supposed to do about that? Was it script? Yeah, it was scripted. You literally can't get away from that. Unless I- Unless you can juke through the fire while it's fading out, but I doubt. 
Uh, oh, I, I, I've never actually given you a, a voice. I'll just, I'll just talk. Normal voice. The body must have broken again. Oh, am I? I am. I am. Ah! Stop controlling me. Uh, okay. I'm not controlling you anymore. Oh, Professor Orange. <laughs> so the blind little lamb fell right into the chasm. What do you want? Do you know how long it has been since we last saw each other? I don't know. But I know who you are. I hope you know who you are. You helped me. You have helped me, Orange. Your existence is truly a cumbersome one. I cannot truly imagine what you have to go through. If you want, my friend, I can give you a temporary escape until I find the permanent solution. If that is what you desire. Is that not what we have always done, Orange? Are you mocking me, Pink? <laughs> Let us go and make your new body, Pink. Okay. You know, if this is the case, and Professor Orange was actually in on everything Pink was doing, then Orange should not have been, have been complaining when, you know, Red went and, you know, tried to kill him, because clearly Professor Orange already knew what his, you know, he, he's in on it. So why did he try to kill the doll when he knew Pink was in the doll? Not sure if plot hole or sign of insanity due to eternity. I hope this one will be sufficient. Uh, I think this could work. Thanks, Orange. Oh, I'm yellow now. <laughs> As always, it is hard to know what differences this body will have. I'm literally yellow. Oh, we can't know till we try, right? May you rest long, Pink. Thanks. I hope so as well. I hope this will fix me. Maybe you will fix me, yellow. <laughs> huh. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't know what to make of that because... In the original ending, like... Pink wanted... No, wait. I guess the dolls are to fix, like, Pink. Like... So that Pink can carry out his duty without regret. I guess that's the fix uh, Pink was talking about. But then... If a mage, if orange mage was helping pink kill everyone, then why are the other mages so surprised? Oh, you got your arm back. Oh, you're killing everyone. Or maybe they're not surprised. Maybe they're just playing along. I'm pretty sure this world is like beyond reason. So uh, whatever you guys think or whatever I think is probably valid in some way. But, you know, making heads or tails of this game is kind of hard because you know what you know what for me you know what the the issue is it's like the characters are very lovable but they only get one minute each how long did we talk to sam we we, we met sam and then he we played a uh, a console game with him and then he peaced out. How long did we spend with Nosferatu? Same thing. How long did we spend with Rasta Beast? We meet him in the bar. We talk to him in the desert. Oh, I guess we played... The, the, I think the only people that you can actually start to care about are the people you play D&D with. Which is Green Mage, uh, Blue Slime, uh, Rasta Beast. Kind of... Uh, the the shades boy in the um in the bar but zig i think yeah zig so you know i think that's just my i wish i wish the characters had more time basically because if you think of undertale 
Uh, well, I, I guess it's it's kind of a fair comparison. I think I think it's fine to compare this game with Undertale. Look how long Toriel wa- was exposed to you. She picked you up from the flower bed. She brought you to the house. She baked you a pie, and then you had to go and uh, defy her, and then she tried to stop you. And then even though you never see her again after that until the end, like, it's it's memorable, like right? Like, in this game, remember the robot bartender guy that doesn't have any drinks left? Yeah, you remember him, but... There's no quips aside from the fact that he has no drink. There's no, um, you know, a little more characterization. In Undertale, every single character is like 10 to 50% more characterized than everyone in this game. But the charm of this game is that it's there. Everything is there. The base is there. Like, g- give Zig like... 50 more lines of conversation. Give Ross the Beast 50 more lines of conversation. Uh, make Florence and his other personalities have more place in the story. All of those would make for, you know, a very, a much more Undertale-like experience. Although, this is already there because it already has all the elements. It even has unique uh, rhythm game aspects. So, it's both unique and Undertale-like. But... The characterization could use some work. Then again, I'm not sure if this is the developer's first game. And for a first game, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, but yeah, um, there's another ending, actually. And I'll screw it. I'll, I'll do it. There, there's another ending in Green Mage's Basement. Um, yeah, I'll just go do that and then we can call the video there. All right, so this is the last ending. This, you get this ending after running through 888 hallways. Um, this is a this is a good um, representation, but um, if you want to know how long one hallway is, one hallway is one transition. So imagine if you came from uh, over here on the left side. And you ran all the way to the end of this room. Like, yeah, that, that's about about one one hallway-ish. Anyway, why can't I walk on this? What, what, is there is there something here? Um, it's an ending, mainly because there's a path down here. Um, but. I guess this is just... Actually, I don't know what... I don't even know what to make of this. The Last Absolute Truth. It looks like a sketch from when they were con- conceptualizing the game. I feel like this is like... That kind of is- Easter egg. I did this to myself. Fourth Dimension. Uh, But it ends with you. Basically, this is... Well... I guess you could interpret it as Green Mage's insanity or Green Green Mage's like the start of everything, I suppose. I mean technically, if it's concept, if it's a concept doodle, then it is the start of everything. And then back here is the final final room. It asks you, I mean, it tells you that this is a good place to rest. Do you want to stop killing? If you say yes, the world will be as it is until you come back and that's it those are the three extra endings for (laughs) they're only counted as endings because they kick you to the title screen you can think of you can think of the endings like that like not all of them has an have an achievement this one does have an achievement all right so after getting kicked back to the main menu (laughs) <laughs> Look at the difference in minutes. Cosmic Hub, 380 minutes. This was the other ending. Um, this was the Cat God ending. And then I, I went to get the um, uh, 
the hallway ending, right? Look how long it took. Okay, so it starts you here. And I think if you run back, I mean, we already have our ending, basically. If you run back, you can just fast travel all the way to the start. Just in case this is one of the first... Yeah, see, it, it, it leads you back here. If you want more context to where it is, it's here is Green Mage's Playroom. Um, so I'll just show you guys how long one corridor is. It's around 11 seconds long. There. That's how long one floor is, one corridor is. And you have to do 888 of those. So, yeah. That's it. That is all of Everhood. The only thing I'm missing now is the secret absolute truth, but you get that from killing Cat God. Like, I survived Cat God. If you kill Cat God before the fight ends, you get the secret absolute truth. Um... There's also some other Easter eggs, like uh, Irvin the Wolf. You find him by following his mailboxes, but I don't think I'll cover those anymore. So, I already stated my feelings in the previous part when we ended Cat God, so I don't think I have anything more to say. If you want to have a discussion about this game, you can always leave a comment, but, you know, <laughs> only if you wanna. So, this has been Caffeinified Gaming. And this has been Everhood. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next series.